Alright, so another thing I want to discuss with you, um, uh, which is also, you know, a key issue with looking into when using an external monitor in general with your camera. Uh, it's trying to make sure that you're monitoring your colors as accurately as possible. Um, and I know there are a few techniques people go through in trying to do that. Uh, they may try to make sure they get it uh, pretty accurate to how their Canon LCD is, which I do sometimes as far as maybe the brightness, you know, contrast, things of that nature. But um, what I'd like to do to help calibrate is uh, use color bars, which is basically the traditional method of calibrating your monitors anyway. Now a lot of these uh, monitors on the market, there are a few of them that uh, come with color bars built in, the feature for you to bring up. But uh, this EVF fortunately does not, which would be a nice feature to have. Um, but there's a workaround to that. Uh, now, if you have Magic Lantern, you're familiar with the crop mark setting. Uh, if you are pretty creative or technical, you also may be able to find information how to make your own custom crop marks. So what I did is I went ahead and made me a custom crop mark, which I'm going to bring up. Uh, okay, that wasn't right. I pushed the wrong button. Ha ha ha. Well, we're going to get a quick view of the playback feature, as you can see. And you don't need to be in camera mode for that. But let's exit out of that. Uh, it takes a couple seconds for you to get your signal back. Uh, not too long of a wait, as you see it's coming back now. Bingo. Okay, now, what I was supposed to do is go to my crop mark settings. There we are. I have color bars. Now, what you can do, well, let me exit out of this. Remember that red, green, blue feature in monochrome? That is uh, mainly a good reason to have that feature, especially when you have color bars that you can use to help calibrate your monitor. It definitely uh, plays a good role into that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my blues. Now the object to try to get a nice good calibration is to make sure that all the bars above here pretty much uh, carry the same color throughout. One that's not darker or lighter than the other bar. Uh, from what I see right now, pretty much, which I had already did earlier, we had a pretty accurate calibration. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the menu. Go back to color. Hit the menu. And uh, let's see. Play around the contrast a little bit. That actually takes it off. That just just the blacks and white levels. Uh, let's exit out. Let me bring back the blues again. Let's go to hue. That's the main thing you want to look at. That's the main thing you want to adjust, uh, especially when calibrating this EBF. Um, so, I'm going to hit the menu to select that. I'm not sure how much you can see it, but as you can see a little bit, you can kind of see colors get off a little bit. Now I do have this menu bar in the way. So what I'm going to do is go to the on-screen display option. Turn transparency. All the way to seven. That's about as transparent as you can get. Uh, exit out of that. Go back to my color. 
go back to my hue hit the menu again and as you can see the more I take it down as you can see the bars the color charts to change up between them so I'm gonna try to like I said get it to where all the colors between these top bars here have the same tone and that's why it's good to use your blue channel for that uh, let's see a little more and I believe we are pretty right now I'm at 51 let me exit out to see how that looks it's pretty even across the board as far as the bars uh, so yeah Then uh, just go into if you have Magic Lantern. Go back to your regular crop marks. And you're back. And you should have a pretty good calibrated monitor. If you don't have Magic Learning, uh, maybe some other techniques you can try is. Uh, when you have time to calibrate your monitor, depending on who's using your monitor, um, you can maybe get an image to load onto your SD card and just uh, bring up your playback menu and pull it up that way and do some calibration. But uh, color bars are definitely helpful when calibrating uh, the EVF. Uh, also, like I said, it's still good to also reference your Canon LCD if you're using a DSLR or whatever. Uh, camera you may be using to go back and forth between that. Um, so that was just a quick little tip on monitor calibration.